Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Friday, October 30th. It's the 22nd week after Pentecost and week 3 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 51, Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 30. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. You made the ebbing channel dry while Israel passed the flood. There did the church begin their joy and triumph in their God. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. Psalm 51, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, that you might be justified when you speak and be upright when you judge. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire the truth in my inmost parts, and in the secret part you shall make me know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. And restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from death, O God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, else I would give it, and you delight not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy upon me, O oh God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, beginning at verse 24. Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat, and then they went away. And so when the plants came up and bore grain, then the seed weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? And he answered, An enemy has done this. And the slaves said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No, for in gathering the weeds you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, 
Collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, and please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone, we pray, hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Bill and Paul, for the aged and the infirm, especially Ronald and Marjorie, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray, hear us, tender God. For our prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, especially Robert, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray, hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Carol, Howard, Dwight, George, Brother Robert Patrick, Father Tom, and Sister Miriam Suzanne. That together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us, tender God, of all our sins and offenses, and restore to us the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.